What is going on today, guys? If you guys remember a couple videos ago, we actually went magnet fishing and we caught the coin box off of a payphone. Now the box was still locked up, it hasn't been opened. So today we are gonna try and open it up and see if there's any money in there. Now first things first, before we can actually cut this thing open, I gotta run into the store here and get us a blade so that I can cut it. All right, guys, this is our safe. This is our locked box, and I believe it's actually a coin box or like the coin return off of a pay phone. Now, it looks like it's still closed up here and everything. It does not look like they actually got into it. So, I mean, we're gonna find out if there's any money in here. And if there is, who knows how old it could be. Now, before we actually go ahead and start cutting this thing open here, I'm actually gonna go ahead and play the clip of me pulling this out of the water with my magnet. Oh, oh, right there. Oh, that's something. Oh, that's something. If it's even something, I know that's something. Oh, here we go. Holy cow, that one's heavy. What is this? Whoa, that looks like some kind of box. Um, yeah, it does. That looks exactly like some kind of box of some sort. What in the world do you think of that one? I don't even know what to think here. Whoa. Hold on a second. What the heck is this? Dude, what is going on here, you guys? Hold on. There's like a cash, <clears throat> or not a cash, like a, what in the world is even going on here, you guys? Look at this thing. I don't even know what to think of that. There's like some kind of, some kind of lever here or something. Do you maybe put money in there and, uh, I don't really know, but look at this, like almost like a lock box on there. You guys. What even is this? It's so, so muddy and rusted out. I can't quite tell, but that's definitely some kind of like lock box or something, dude. What in the world? This is like some kind of vending machine coin return box, you guys. Holy cow. And it almost looks like they didn't even get the actual box open because this thing is still pretty heavy. This thing probably weighs like 10 pounds. All right, guys, so we should have everything we need here. I already attached our um, cutting blade that we just picked up at the store. Hopefully I got it on there tight enough because uh, I don't really want to lose a limb today. This thing comes flying off. That probably wouldn't be too good. Well, let's go ahead, slap our battery on there and see what this old bad boy can do. Oh yeah, we're gonna see if we can cut this thing open, baby. I guess I'm not really too sure how to go about this here. Maybe we'll just kind of cut a little square in the door and see if that works. All right, guys, well, let's give it a shot here. I don't know what to expect. Hopefully this thing does not come flying off. Seriously, I have never used one of these. So uh, let's fire it up and give her a shot. <laughs> All right, well, first couple seconds of cutting there and the blade did not come off, so that's a plus. And uh, it looks like we are getting somewhere, so let's keep cutting. <laughs> That sucker is smoking. There is smoke rolling out of that hole there and everything. What in the world? It almost doesn't even look like it wants to go through. Is that just a solid door? That can't be solid. <laughs> what in the world? All right, well, I guess let's uh, turn it on its side here and try and give it another cut. Ha! <laughs> 
How is that blade holding up there? It looks like it's doing all right, huh? Still hasn't flung off. We still have all our limbs. That's a plus. This thing does not look like it really wants to cut through there though. That is like some super, super duper deep metal there. I don't know what to even, what to think of that there. Maybe should I, maybe cut this open? That might be the better choice there. Let's try and do that. Let's try and cut the backside open. We might have better luck, I don't know. We just, uh, we just slid right through there like some butter. Oh yeah, that definitely worked there. All right, well, let's just go ahead and cut a little square off of the back here and see if that works. Oop, that's two sides. Look at, we are getting there, guys. All we gotta do is cut this here and this here, and we should be able to shake out whatever's in there. Hopefully there's some money in there. All right, we got the three sides done. Let's go ahead and finish the final cut here. And we should be able to just pop this piece right out and get right in there. It's kind of crazy. It just shows you how easy it is to actually cut into these types of things. I mean, this is taking us less than a couple minutes with a saw like this. Boom, just like so, we are in. <laughs> we are absolutely 100% in there, you guys, check it out. We cut that piece right off. Let's go ahead and uh, dump this out and uh, see if we got any money in there, guys. Could you imagine? Come on, come on, come on. Let's get lucky, baby, let's get lucky. Yep, as you guys can see, look right inside there. This thing was closed up and everything that's crazy you can see right in there it's kind of hard with the the lighting here i'm kind of trying to get a better lighting here but yeah wow we cut right into the back of that thing guys now what do we got going on here what is this just a bunch of mud is there any coins in here come on tell me there's got to be at least one coin what there's nothing you guys oh man what a disappointment nothing it's just a bunch of mud how in the world? And there's no other opening on it. That that was the only way to get it open was the way we just cut it open like that. So maybe there wasn't any money in there to begin with. That just would be crazy to think. Man, that really sucks. But holy cow, you guys, this thing is old. Wow, well that is just crazy, you guys. We actually got it open, but there was nothing in it. Just a bunch of dirt. And you know, that makes you wonder if this thing was really sealed up that tight, how did dirt even get in there? You know what I mean? I mean, if this thing was like a locked, sealed box, how do you even, how does dirt even get in there? That is just bizarre. Well guys, we ended up getting it open. Definitely not what I was expecting and definitely not what I was hoping to be in there. It's crazy to think how old payphones actually are and the fact that we don't even use them anymore. I mean, who knows how old that payphone could actually be. I was hoping we were gonna get lucky and find some super old 20, 30 year old coins, but no such luck today. So that is gonna go ahead and wrap our video up here for today, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to hit that thumbs up button for me and don't forget to subscribe, guys. Make sure to stay tuned and I will catch you on the next one.